I'm Alex with Storyline Travel. At Storyline Travel, we're family travel specialists helping families make memorable experiences through travel. This video, we're on the Norwegian Prima. The Prima offers two main dining rooms uh, that are complementary for your cruise. The first we'll talk about is Hudson's. They have both a breakfast service and a dinner service. For breakfast, the menu does not change throughout the um, cruise, but actually um, none of the menus change on the Norwegian Prima. Something that Norwegian is going to be trying for all their ships is that the menus will be a little larger but not rotate throughout your dining experience. The food here is a bit more elegant and upscale, as you can see, with this decadent dessert that we enjoyed while we were on the Norwegian Prima. Now let's take a look at the Commodore. The Commodore room is the second uh, main dining area. The menu is the same as the Hudson and it provides just additional seating while you're on board the ship. The buffet on the Prima is called the Surfside Cafe and Grill. Here you'll find salads, pizza, um, enjoy beverages from coffee to um, some flavored waters. There's a pasta station um, and grill. You'll also notice that the signs are electronic and it allows the Prima to staff to make changes to the menu and the offerings throughout the cruise. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the staff can make updates to the menu and the offerings, including the fun late night snacks that are provided as well as these specialty crepes that we found one night on our ship. This is a buffet. Even when the staff serve you, you need to make sure you have a plate while you'll find utensils at your table. The buffet on the Prima is smaller than you might expect on a ship of its size, but because of the additional included options for dining, it doesn't need to be as big as you might see on other ships. One fun dining location included in your fare is the local bar and grill. This place is split into two sides. One is a dining room where you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the other side is a bar. The type of food is, is very casual. It's a, more of a pub theming, but it's light and bright and lots of fun. In addition to the dining area, you will find a bar with a large screen and playing sports throughout the day. We're going to visit Indulge, the new food hall on the Norwegian Prima. The Indulge food hall is a new dining concept Norwegian is introducing on the Prima class ships. This food hall has several different locations serving specialty foods that you can order on electronic kiosks that have menus of each dining location. One of the first dining locations that you'll come to is an Indian themed restaurant called Tamara. This location serves different types of Indian dishes for both lunch and dinner. What makes this location unique is that they have a viewing area into the kitchen where you can watch the chefs cook meats like chicken here during the day, which will be served for both lunch menu items and dinner menu items. Note that they do change throughout the day. And then in the evenings, you can come back and watch them cook their wonderful naan as they make bread in the evenings for the evening meal. One of our favorite things to do in the evening was to come to indulge and order some of this fresh naan. There are two varieties and our favorite by far was the garlic naan. Be sure you order it whether you have Indian food or not and you'll truly indulge in the experience. Near tomorrow, you will find a self-service beverage station um, 
serving coffee, both decaf and regular, and providing hot water if you would like some hot chocolate or some tea. In Indulge, one of the cool things about the self-serving uh, dining station is that they do have a freestyle machine where you can tap your card if you have the beverage package or if you want to do an a la carte purchase. Again, you can get ice and water and iced tea and flavored water to drink. Next, we come up to the Noodle House. It's a fun destination that serves different kinds of noodles from different cuisines around the world, whether spaghetti or pad thai. This is a great location if you would like some pasta. Near the noodle location is an ice cream bar, and each night they have four different flavors for you to indulge on. As we go around the corner, we go to one of my favorite spots. It's a food truck area with a mock-up of an Airstream that serves Spanish or Mexican style food. You can get nachos, tostadas, all served on small plate, but it's really a lot of fun and it's a great place to get your Mexican food fix. And then right across from it is a tapas truck. Again, these two areas serve more of a small plates meal. Around the corner from the tapas bar is a dessert bar that both at lunch and dinner serve three to four delectable items. Next to the dessert bar is the salad bar. Um, I think that's kind of a cruel joke, but there it is anyway. Self-serve salads made up that you can order from the kiosk based on what the chef has put together for that day. Another station in Indulge is the Seaside Rotisserie. This location serves rotisserie, rotisserie cooked style food like lamb chops, tenderloin, or even kebabs. Like many of the locations, their lunch menu does tend to be a bit casual and more laid back, where dinner will be a more elegant dish that's served. Past the seaside rotisserie, you'll come to the Texas barbecue location. In this place, you can get barbecue sandwiches for lunch or barbecue plates in the evening time with sides reminiscent of a Texas style barbecue. And those are the included dining options on the Norwegian Prima. Which one would you like to try? Give us a comment below. And a storyline travel, we believe every adventure is a story waiting to be told.